looking for children, and in this same world, some people are killing children. How does that sound? Can you imagine something that you need desperately, and somebody else has it somewhere and they put it in the garbage? That is exactly what it looks like. So please, what if your parents decided to abort you? Didn't you think about that? Because what goes around comes around. But for some reason, they endured it. They endured the pain. Yes. They waited. They suffered. They trained you. They, they, they brought you up. All the hospital bills, all the sleepless nights, they endured it and kept you alive. And now you want to abort? You had a chance. You don't want to give that child a chance to survive and do what God has proposed that child to come and do. And then, God is the giver of life. Yes. So, and God came, Jesus came so that you might have life. He came so that the child in your womb might have life yes. and have it even abundantly. Yes. So please, do not do not go ahead with the abortion. And believe it or not, if you give birth to this child, regardless of the circumstances surrounding that child, in your old age, who do you think will take care of you? The same child. Mm -hmm. So think about it. Yes. And let God come into your house right now. Mm -hmm. Come into your mind. I'm going to pray for you. Amen? Amen? Oh Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, I thank you for what you are doing. Thank you, I thank you for letting these ones have an opportunity of tuning in right now. Thank you, and listening. Thank you, Lord. Lord my God, it is you that plan all these things, not us. Mm -hmm. It is you that plan where we should put it. And it is you that ordered the steps of this broadcast to get into this person's home right now that is listening. Mm -hmm. It's not by accident. Mm -hmm. So Lord Jesus, since that person listened, oh Lord Jesus, I beseech thee to overwhelm them with your peace, oh Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Provide for that child in the name of Amen. Jesus. Provide food, shelter, provide health, Amen. provide finances for that Amen. child, my Lord. Amen. Provide love for that child. Mm -hmm. provide, provide peace for that child. Mm -hmm. For the child and the mother, my Lord and my God. Mm -hmm. And prove to the world that you are a God of life. Yes. You are a God that gives life, my Lord and my God. And that if you have the chance, people give you the chance, your will be done in their homes as it is done in heaven. Yes. Because no, in heaven, nobody does abortion. So Lord, Heavenly Father, have your way in their lives. Mm -hmm. Bless them. Mm -hmm. Anoint them. Mm -hmm. Prepare them, O Lord Jesus. Amen. Uphold them. Amen. Sustain them. Amen. Maintain them. Amen. Be their strong tower. Amen. Open the windows of heaven and pour down blessings in that house. Amen. For them and the children, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray. Amen. 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 Uh, well, underage sex slaves, these are for adults who go about having sex, holding small girls for sex slaves and so on and so forth. When is this going to stop? What I want to let the world know, these people that are doing this right now, I know they are very quick to change the channel, but trust me, when God is in your face, you can't run away from God. Mm -hmm. that's, that's for sure. When is it going to come and say, wait a minute, this is not good? The Bible wants me to tell you that the wicked shall never go unpunished. That's right. Simple. Even when you do it, you do it secretly. In other words, you know that that thing is not good. Holding little girls under age, at times five years old, holding them under age and using them for sex. You see, God is a God of peace. He's also a man of war. I'm telling you right now, God will apply peace and apply love and wants you to reason. In Isaiah 118, he said, Come now, let us reason together. God is inviting you to come, let us reason together. He says, I know what you have been doing is crooked hmm. and ugly. But if you listen, I'm going to wipe your sin so clean that it will be white as snow. Yes. He said, If you listen, trust me, he will you will never believe that God can be this good. He will wash you clean, he will turn your life around, hmm. and he will heal your land. He will heal your family. He will heal everything. But he said, but if you refuse, the consequence outweighs what you are doing right now. 
there was a man that never listened. He was going from brothel to brothel, from hotel, sleeping around with girls. One day, he was shocked. And they told him, oh, we brought a very beautiful woman. She's young. She's fresh. I said, oh, how much are you? They doubled the price. They said, oh, bring her. When they brought that girl in, it was his own daughter. Huh. He was shocked. He was, it was his own daughter. So they asked him, what are you doing here? I said, Daddy, what are you doing here? The man wept. He was ashamed. He didn't know what to do. He then he took his daughter home. So this is, this is just something that was encountered. So I'm telling you right now, let God come and turn your life around. Believe it or not, you know what you are doing, you think it's, you know, it's, it makes you feel good. It's the devil that is pushing your buttons. He wants you to continue so that when you die, you go to hell. And in hell, he will tell you, if you see what he's going to do to you in hell, the same devil that is telling you, oh, have fun. You have the money, have fun. Nobody see you. God is seeing you. So turn around, give your life to Jesus Christ. Yes. We talk about Jesus. He is powerful. Yes. He is merciful. He is gracious. He understands that it is them that's doing it. But he wants to remind you that you have power, you have authority, you have audacity over your situation. You know the good and bad. That's why you do it in secret. If the devil knows too much, why do you do it in secret? Mm -hmm. Anything God wants you to do, God doesn't want you to do it in secret. He wants you to do it openly. Anything the devil wants you to do, he wants you to do it in secret. So can't you get it? May the good Lord have mercy on you Amen. and peace on you. Amen. and turn your life around Amen. so that one day you do not confront your own child this will be shocking and finally you don't want to end up in hell yes. God has come so that you might have life mm -hmm. he came to save you from sin yes. he came to destroy the works of the enemy mm -hmm. he came to find the lost he came to, to, to rescue you from the final judgment yes. why don't you accept him right now to come into your heart. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Mm. Repeat after me. Jesus, come into my heart. Come and transform me. Come and set me free. Come and wash me with your blood. I thank you for what you are doing. And I thank you for what you did on the cross of Calvary. For you died for my sins that I'm committing right now. Mm. You died for me the sins I committed. You died for the sins my parents committed. My Lord and my God. And I thank you. Come into my life and take absolute residence. Transform me, Lord. I want to be a better person. In the name of Jesus, as you pray with me, just see what God will do. Because he's not a human being, he's a spirit. He has the power to transform a crackhead into a deacon. He has the power to change a prostitute into a prophet. Yes. That's the kind of God we're talking about. Yes. He has the power to take up somebody from the street that is homeless and make him into a big pastor. Yes. Or make him into anything that is marvelous. And God will do the same for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And finally, uh, we're going to talk about abuses at home. This is our home. A family is a place that God has come. It's, it's a little kingdom hmm. where you have the man, <coughs> the man at the head, and the woman as assistant, and then the children to be raised. So a home is a place where you raise children to take care of future. Kings and queens and generals and prime ministers and presidents, they were all children. And they were raised in home to be able to be good leaders. And children are the inheritance from God. Gifts from God. And God created family. In, so, in short, we were all created by God so that we can become part of his family. We were adopted into the family of God. Yes. So things like abuse. Some people are abusing their spouse, beating their wife, the one that you say you love. How can you hurt the one you say you love? Some not just gone beyond abuse, even to kill and inflict injuries. Mm. You Have you forgotten the day you said, I do? That you love this woman in sickness and in health? You didn't say, I'm going to beat this woman in sickness and in health. It's good to be men and women of integrity. And integrity means saying, doing what you say you're going to do regardless of the conditions surrounding it. 
Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything you say you're going to do, live by your word. That's the kind of God we serve. Our God lives by his word. He says his word is higher than, than himself. Nothing else is higher than God except his word. Because when God says something, he, he lives by it. And you and I are made in the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. Let's live by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So love your spouse. Love your children. Bless them. Do not abuse them. Do not curse them. Do not inflict injuries on them. Because it carries, when you hurt their flesh, you are hurting their spirit. They take it down from generation to generation. When they grow up, they hurt their own families and so on. And it goes down like that. Break the spell. Don't let the devil transform from, from the families down like that. If your parents did that to you, hey, come on. Now Jesus is coming to break the spell in your family. Amen? Amen. Oh Lord, Heavenly Father, I pray for these abuses in homes, oh Lord. Some people say they carry it from their families, oh Lord Jesus. But you are a spell breaker. Release an anointing that is so powerful that we go into the house and break every plan of the Amen. enemy. Amen. Every spirit of abuse, I come against you by the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. I come Amen. against you in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I come against you by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I come against you by the fire from heaven. Amen. Every spirit that will make every man, any man or any woman abuse their children or their wife or their spouse, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Set them free. Amen. They are not slaves. They are the children of the Most High God. Yes, Lord. In God's eye, all men are created equal, whether they are little or old or black or white or brown. Yes. But the devil wants to create differences to cause trouble. But this moment in time, the, the power of God is reigning into the house. Amen. God is descending into your house Amen. with power, Amen. with authority, Amen. with fire, Amen. with his blood, Amen. with anointing Amen. to bring that spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, Heavenly Thank Father. You, Lord. Because we have spoken. And anything God speaks cannot be changed. Yes. Anything He writes cannot be changed. Yes. Because on the cross, when He was on the cross, you were on His mind. And He said, It is finished. For tweet, I take His word for it. It is finished. Yes. You are set free. Yes. No more abuse. Hallelujah. No more cussing. Hallelujah. No more inflicting injuries. Hallelujah. No more sexual abuse. Hallelujah. No more drug abuse. Hallelujah. No more alcohol Hallelujah. abuse. Hallelujah. Any form of abuse is being cancelled by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is time. Yes. Where I'm agreeing with my wife, my because the Bible said with one we can chase a thousand, with two God can chase ten thousand. Yes. So as we are praying, ten thousand enemies fleeing left, right, and center. Hallelujah. Because God is coming against the enemy, the devil, and all these demons Amen. and all these evil Amen. forces and forces Amen. of darkness. Amen. God is coming against them right Amen. now with full Amen. force. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I am praying, let there be a head-on collision Amen. between God and your enemies Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. because you have spoken yes, Lord. and you have taken your glory. Yes, Nobody else but you will take the glory. Yes, I thank you for all those that listen. Thank you. I thank you for all those that are doing what you said they should do. Thank you. Oh Lord God, and prove that we are serving the right God. Yes. Prove that we are serving the real God. Yes. Prove that we are serving a powerful God. Yes. Prove that we are serving a God that knows how to turn things around yes, in their lives, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Peace. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lot. But you see, thank God, Carlos. Oh my God, thank you. How many minutes? I don't know, I don't know. We'll find out.